I sense a Centurion's core here. It seems to be the Centurion Ventus. Great! If you can sense Ventus, it must mean Lloyd hasn't gotten it yet. Lloyd? Why would Lloyd come here? Oh, right. We still haven't told you about the attack on Lewin. What do you mean? I've been trying to find Lloyd. Please, tell me. Okay. Here's what happened. So Lloyd is actually going around collecting Centurion's cores? Colette, Lloyd was your friend, right? You really haven't heard anything from him? No. And now you're saying that Lloyd attacked you both and ordered the Church of Martell to strike Lewin. I can't believe this. We wouldn't lie about this, Colette. Yes, I know that. That's why it's so unbelievable. Thinking about it now won't resolve anything. Right now, we are here to stop the terrible winds in town. And get Ventus's core if we can, right? Exactly. Colette, if you still can't believe us... No, it's not that, it's just... I want to believe the two of you and Lloyd as well. But maybe Tenebrae's right. What we need to do now is search this place and help the townspeople. We'll have plenty of time to think about what's going on with Lloyd once we're done with this. Colette, you really believe us? Even though Lloyd is your friend? Well, both of you are my friends too. I believe my friends. You don't mind being my friend? Well, why would I? I'm your friend because I like both of you. Thank you. I made another friend. I can't believe it. Hey, I never said you were my friend. Oh, that's right, but that's okay. I still think of you as my friend. Perhaps this would be a good time to ask that you start calling me by my actual name. Do you really hate being called Doggy that much? Hate might be too strong a word. I simply feel it gives the wrong impression. And Tenaby's no good either. Well, how about Tenby? Hmm. What about Tenny? Or maybe Trey? Hmm. I vote for Bray Bray. That's cute. Yeah, I like it. In that case, let's just stick with Tenaby. Uh, Were you thinking about Lloyd? No, it's not that. I promised myself I'd save thinking about Lloyd until after all this is sorted out. I don't think you'd need to be so strict about it. I'm sorry. By the way, Colette, if Lloyd is that important to you, does that mean the two of you are... <sighs> no, it's not like that. Really, it's not. But how could Colette possibly like someone like Lloyd? Why do you sound so heartbroken? Um... Fine! You know what? Well, I do love you, but I hate you! <laughs> I guess being a target of affection is difficult. You're enjoying this, aren't you? We're below the stone dais, right? It's so strange, going underneath ruins only to find more ruins. It looks similar. Similar to what? When I was on the journey of world regeneration, I went to a place called the Balakruf Mausoleum. These ruins remind me of it. I wonder if they're related. Maybe we should go and have a look around. Lady Marta, I admire your curiosity, but I think we should stick to the task at hand. Tenebrae, sometimes you're just no fun at all. Yeah, he's pretty stuffy. Are you saying that I am a stick in the mud? Don't worry, Tenaby, you don't have any mud on you. So, where is the Balakroft Mausoleum? If memory serves, it should be on an island to the northeast of this town. But isn't it strange how two places so far apart would be so similar? When the worlds of Tetha'ala and Silveron were divided, the mausoleum was located just outside of Asgard. Actually, even before the world was split in two, a large kingdom existed where we now stand. 
The similarities in style between the two locations demonstrate just how vast that ancient kingdom truly was. So this place might be connected to the Balakroft Mausoleum somehow. It is certainly possible. Am I really that much of a stick in the mud? I can't believe he's still thinking about that. I honestly don't see any mud on you. But what's wrong with mud anyway? Everyone gets a little dirty now and again. I don't think he meant that sort of mud. Well then, what sort of mud did he mean? No, listen. There was never any mud to begin with. Oh, so it was more of a muck. Or maybe a slime? So now I'm slimy. I have to say, I prefer mud to slime myself. It's easier to clean. Well, it would depend on where the slime came from. Yeah, but think about your fur. Slime would stick to it, while mud would just wash off no problem. Someone, anyone, please, make it stop! They keep on coming, which means we have to keep on fighting. Emil, I'm counting on you. I'll do my best. But there sure are a lot of monsters here. You think it's because of Ventus's core? Oh yeah, Centurions in the core state can't control their powers, so they can attract monsters without meaning to. Correct. I suspect the Garuda we encountered on the stone dais was drawn by Ventus's powers. But once Marta hatches the core, Ventus would wake up and all of that would stop, right? Exactly. Uh, it's scary, but I'll do my best. Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. What's that? Is that a Centurion Oath? Oh, no. It's just sort of a mantra of mine. It has a nice ring to it. Do you want me to add? Come on, you're a man. Speak up, too. Hey, don't be a jerk. What's the story behind? Come on, you're a man, speak up. Um, well, I'm not very manly to begin with. So when I hesitate or have trouble making up my mind, it's something Marta says to encourage me. Emil, you're not supposed to tell other people about that. But it's true. That's enough! What did I say? Never mind. Just try and be more like I imagine you to be, okay? <laughs> It's finally ready. Wow, it's so cute! <laughs> I thought I'd make a fruit cake. There's also a fruit salad, some fruit juice, and... Um, do you have anything with a little more substance? Oh, sorry. What would you like? I don't know, maybe a steak or something? Okay, leave it to me. One apple steak coming right up. On second thought, this would be fine. <laughs> 